The PCIGR facility is a unique facility in the world, mostly because of its instruments. It's an amazing uh, group of, of instruments, very performing. But the way we set it up is with a unique team of highly qualified personnel. And that allows us to basically custom design any experiment. That's what makes it fun, that's what makes it unique, and that's what makes it very valuable for any of the user who come with a question. We typically group our big picture research questions into two categories when we apply our, our techniques here at PCIGR to archaeological materials. One would be when, and one would be from where. And the when is, is the traditional radiometric dating techniques. We do uranium lead dating and all of these kind of high profile dating techniques. But the where is where it gets particularly interesting, especially in archaeological context. We can also apply these tools to trace the source of um, artifacts or belongings, clearly depending what they are and how unique they are. And we can also put that in our context, having, for instance, studied the volcanoes in the Vancouver area and having their signature. So what we, what we try to do is characterize all of the different geologic locations from which the materials that were turned into belongings could have originated. And based on that map, that landscape that we create, we look at the materials found in archaeological sites and try to see where they originated from. We do this using what we call two different things in signatures and fingerprints. Signatures are not necessarily unique to a particular location, so this might be trace element content of obsidian, um, but it's going to help us vector or help point us towards where to go. And then we use other traits, for example, lead isotopes in obsidians that we know is an absolute unique identifier of a source and that allows us to put that object back in its geologic context. What I love about geochemistry is that we do a detective work. We ask questions and then we design experiments to resolve these questions by using various tools and depending on the questions and what we're trying to resolve, we're going to use different instruments. This is really fun. I really enjoy new challenge. I also enjoy playing with the instruments and designing new experiments. We are investigating almost whodunit style questions when we look at archaeological sites and to have a guiding force to the valuable perspectives to have um, from communities on the, the materials that we analyze is, is absolutely riveting because you never know what type of question they may pose and what type of analytical procedure might be best suited to address that question.